Hello, this here is the LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus Transport. I bought this for $40 US and built it live on Twitch. The set features the two animals, three minifigures, a truck and trailer. The Dilophosaurus, as far as I can tell, is the same second generation one that we got a few years ago. It's still good. It's still based off the Jurassic World franchise, so it's not intended to be realistic, but I think that this color scheme works well. I think the size is significantly better than the original, but it is a shame that in order to get that smaller size, we ended up having to go with a non-articulated frame for the thing. Can't even turn its head, but it is able to open and close the mouth. I just think it looks pretty nice though. Pyroraptor, on the other hand, is a completely new mold for the body. And as far as I know, this is the first, as far as I can remember, this is the first fully feathered dinosaur that Lego has rendered with physical designs and not just relying on print. So that's good that we get the feathering under here. There's the, oopsie, the crest obviously there. And most importantly, the tail has the slight bit of fanning of feathers there, which is done with several colors. So the base color there of the plastic is dark red. And then the regular red color is printed on top of that with a nice pattern. And there's also a spray of sand blue, which is done from the rear. So you can see that it hits the, the backside of those feather details of the feather texturing there and not the front. You know, it's a little bit, a little, little bit differential there, which is which is, I don't know, just kind of nice, you know, makes it a little bit different. The other main body color of plastic here is dark orange. And this once again has no articulation other than just the mouth. I don't know what the current uh, confidence level is of, of science in general, paleontology in general, figuring out how these things looked, but this does match just a cursor, cursory Google images search for a number of artists renditions, and most importantly, what is canonical to the Jurassic World universe for, you know, what are intended to be made up or partially genetically reconstructed animals there. And it, and it looks cool. It looks very dynamic. I like this pose. Too bad you can't move anything else though. The Biosyn SUV looks really good to me personally, and I appreciate getting the tan color for the six wide hood piece or roof piece. You know, it's used for both on this. It has opening doors in dark tan. A lot of people appreciate having those even if they're not honestly that useful other than to provide a little bit of extra horizontal room inside of there such as in this case where they allow you to put two figures side by side i'm just going to show that right quick right now two figures can fit in this side by side as well they should be able to and that's great you also have the offset seating position the offset uh uh uh, steering wheel there, which is not perfectly centered to a figure in the driver's seat, but you know, it's a lot better than having things artificially centered. The color match for the stickers with the tan is not ideal, but overall, this whole thing looks pretty good to me. I think that the, the roof has just a little bit too much gap here. I would have liked one more piece under there just to, to tighten that up slightly, but otherwise that color scheme just looks nice. It looks believable. You know, yes, it's a toy, but at the same time, it has just a little bit of realism, just a little bit of grounding to it. And I think all that is good for, well, most importantly, the kids who are going to be playing with this and also older folks who will be interested in this more as a collector's item. On the back here, you have this small trailer, which will do its job just fine because it's got the little ramp there and you can take either of the animals included in the set and just do like that. They can go either this way or I believe this way as well. Similar, similar clearance, whichever way you do it. There we go. And then this will just kind of clamp on, hold it in place for now. Ah, I see. I see something here. Mm, I didn't realize that. With this particular animal, with the Pyroraptor, it's difficult to get this to close up over here if it's facing towards the rear. So for this one, you're definitely going to want it to be facing towards the front. So it just has just a little bit more clearance around the uh, around the toe, the, the front toe there. And then bring the little ramp up. Sorry about that as well. Also taking this off, popping that off entirely, the back is able to open up. And there's a tray that can slide out there. Not the best use of space here, but some kind of, of cargo. You've got a little bit of comm unit there and a tranquilizer gun as well, which is also accessible from the top when you open this up. So that's the space that's available there. You could even go fully four wide with a decent amount of height here. So this is, again, a pretty good use of space, a pretty good design. I think that 
I think a lot of people will be able to appreciate just this by itself in this set. And you also got the roof rack there and you know some some guards to toughen this up. It's good. The figures are on the left. Ian Malcolm, way too old to be leaving his shirt unbuttoned like that. I do hope it's going to be used as a gag and they're going to make fun of that in the movie. The skin tone printed on the torso, unfortunately, is not the it's not the, the greatest match. In the middle is Ellie, of course, Ellie Sattler, uh, returning from the original trilogy. And on the right is just a guard. That's it. Just, just guard. No name for her. Uh, all of these, I think... Graphic design wise are good. There's a good amount of, you know, a, a good a good range here of difference. But again, the print to me for Ian is just not quite right. Uh, I could have used an extra extra layer there. That alternate face is really good. That alternate face is useful. And you get one here, which I think is also useful. So I don't think there's anything here that is that is wasted. Finally, here are the few leftover pieces, and that's the spent sticker sheet. Not a lot on it. Price again is $40 US for this. And I think that, well, there. <laughs> this is a this is a good $20 right here. 25, nah, I, I would really like that to be $20. So are these two animals worth $20? To me, no. $5 in 2022, I guess. I don't want them to be $5, it's just, it's two pieces of plastic here, two pieces of plastic here. Yeah, there's dual molding and everything, but come on. I would like this to be $30. That's what I would like. I don't always get what I like. And is it close enough to where, especially in these crazy times where everything is so expensive that this will turn off most parents from buying it if their kid wants this set? No, because it's not a bad set. You know, I can see this still selling, especially with a couple of good, good dinos in it um, and, and a, a good truck. The figure selection probably honest, honestly won't be that impressive and interesting to kids. So it won't be a major selling point, but the truck definitely is. The dinos are. So, yeah, I can see this still selling, but I really do wish that it was less simple as that. Those are my thoughts. Talk to you again soon.